It's cool, right? Yeah, I don't know. That was their idea too. I didn't have to push for that, you know. Calling it that, uh, I'm so tickled. Oh, uh, that, that, that see, I love it because that, that was going to be like you know, kind of. Did you like on a slide that in? Nope, perfect. Works perfectly. I love it oh, so much. Great, because like it also those. I mean, do, do you get? Are we officially started? Should I be in like interview mode, or how do you want to go? It was five years ago here that I first met Tawny, and we first really all got together. It was um. It was here. It was five years ago. It, it does right feel like yesterday. Here in this yeah. room. It was downstairs. We Ball went and got a salad a. and a <laughs> drink. <laughs> I mean, if get you, a salad. You remember? Yeah. It definitely flew by. You're always looking for something to mine when you're looking for jokes and stuff. And we have thousands of hours of television to mine. Yeah, and the the world of Star Trek is real for the characters that inhabit this show. And so they're telling jokes in a way that they're as familiar with these locations from other series as much as Tanya and I are because we've watched them, they've lived them. And it's almost like we both used to work at Second City. Mm, people like us. Yeah. yeah, they used to not like us, now they love us. <laughs> yeah. Which is awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. It's probably worth mentioning that these characters are not the people that they will become when we get to the original series. They are still younger, they're going through things, they have a lot of life and lessons to go through. They have, uh, they, they have some growth to do. So you don't see them exactly the way that you would see them later on. I, I think checking out all that Solar Opposite stuff I've been hearing about. Uh -huh. yeah. what, I mean, what genius I made that show? Cool. Uh -huh. uh, also the Hasbro booth is really cool. I took my 10 oh, year old there cool. yesterday and yeah. like they've got some pretty bonkers stuff. Star Trek fans have been eagerly awaiting the next installment. But why has Star Trek IV remained in limbo for so long? As we dive into the cosmic conundrum surrounding the delayed production of Star Trek IV, it's essential to acknowledge the monumental impact the Star Trek franchise has had on pop culture. From the groundbreaking original series to the blockbuster reboots, Star Trek has cultivated a dedicated following that's been on a roller coaster of anticipation and disappointment. By spanning over five decades, Star Trek has become more than just a series of films and TV, shows. It's a cultural touchstone that explores the infinite possibilities of space, science, and the human condition. This deep-rooted significance adds layers of expectation and pressure on every new installment, especially Star Trek IV, which fans hoped would continue the bold, adventurous legacy. So what's the deal? Why aren't we cozying up with our triple plushies for another voyage of the Starship Enterprise? There are several contributing factors to this delay, each more perplexing than the last. Strap in as we chart a course through the developmental turbulence, fan demands, and the behind-the-scenes drama that have kept Star Trek IV grounded. Factors contributing to the delay. Ah, the elusive Star Trek IV. If you've been keeping up with the spacefaring saga, it's no surprise that this next installment feels like a shimmering mirage. So why exactly has it been stuck in development limbo? Let's take a closer look. Developmental challenges. First off, the director's chair for Star Trek IV has been a revolving door. Quentin Tarantino's brief flirtation with the franchise had fans buzzing, only for hopes to be dashed when he stepped away. Remember S.J. Clarkson? She was supposed to be the first female director in Star Trek movie history, but left for other opportunities. Each change means starting from scratch, dealing with script revisions, and recalibrating casting choices. It's like baking a cake where the recipe keeps changing midway. No wonder it's taking forever. Unveiling setbacks. And let's not forget the backstage drama. It's rumored that script rewrites resulted in some pretty hefty delays. Initial scripts reportedly didn't quite hit the mark, prompting more tweaks than a Ferengi's business plan. Factor in casting decisions that seemed perpetually stuck in neutral, and you've got a recipe for delay pie. Fan expectations. Now let's talk about the Trekkies. Balancing fan nostalgia with fresh storytelling is a tightrope act. Fans want the magic of classic Star Trek, but with innovative twists that keep it relevant. It's a bit like rebooting your favorite game console with brand new features. If it fails to impress the hardcore gamers, backlash is inevitable. Scandalous speculation. Rumor has it fan pressure might have had an unintended impact. Could it be that all the heated debates and online petitions swayed the decision makers to second guess themselves? Some industry insiders whisper about executives being a tad too cautious, fearing a flop thanks to the unrelenting scrutiny of the faithful fan base. The stars may seem misaligned for Star Trek IV right now, but understanding these multifaceted delays gives insight into why we're still waiting. Cue that Star Trek opening theme. 
because the adventure continues even if it's currently happening behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, an insider's view. So why exactly is Star Trek IV lost in a cosmic void? Let's take a peek behind the scenes where the drama unfolds like a gripping episode of Deep Space Nine. Cast Dynamics First up, Cast Dynamics. Reuniting the beloved original cast has turned out to be more complex than rerouting a warp core breach. Scheduling conflicts and contract negotiations have been a persistent thorn in Paramount's side. Chris Pine, our dashing Captain Kirk, reportedly had some serious reservations about his paycheck not matching his risk-taking missions into unknown space. And can you blame him? Saving the universe deserves a few extra zeros on that paycheck. Zachary Quinto, Zoe Saldana, and the rest of the crew have their own bustling careers, making synchronization as tricky as Spock's Vulcan nerve pinch. Rumors and realities. With each passing month, rumors swirled faster than a starship in a nebula. Some whispered that Pine and Quinto were entirely done with the franchise, while others suggested recurring cast tensions. Yet, insiders reveal a more diplomatic truth. It's less about interpersonal drama and more about aligning stars, pun intended both in terms of schedule and compensation. Though it's fun to imagine diva face-offs in spacesuits, creative vision. Now let's talk creative vision. A ship without direction is just floating debris, and Star Trek IV needs a compelling course plotted. Over the years, multiple scripts made it to the table, only to be closed swiftly. Quentin Tarantino's bold storyline, shelved. Noah Hawley's fresh perspective, stalled. It's akin to being stuck in a temporal loop always back to square one. Insider Insights Some industry insiders suggest that the struggle isn't for lack of ideas, but rather the challenge of crafting a narrative that stays true to the essence of Star Trek while propelling it into uncharted territories. Die-hard fans want those classic vibes, but there's also a hunger for innovation. Walking this delicate line has seemingly become more difficult than negotiating peace with the Klingons. In essence, the creative minds behind Star Trek IV face the Herculean task of recalibrating a beloved legacy in a modern cinematic universe that demands both nostalgia and novelty. It's a lot like creating a new Federation treaty, complex, layered, and fraught with passionate debates. Back in the captain's chair, it seems the delay isn't just about one element, but a constellation of challenges. From cast negotiations that need a nearly celestial alignment, to creative visions still gathering stardust, Star Trek IV's voyage is anything but straightforward. Stay tuned, Trekkies. The final frontier might take a little longer to navigate. Studio perspectives and industry trends. When it comes to hitting the brakes on Star Trek IV, one has to wonder what's brewing in the corridors of Paramount Studios. Believe it or not, the drama behind the scenes is as fascinating as a Vulcan mind meld. Paramount's strategy. First, let's talk strategies, you know, the big game plan. Paramount Pictures, the studio behind the Star Trek franchise, has been carefully treading its path, ensuring every step taken isn't a misstep. So what could possibly stall such a powerhouse franchise? Box Office Dilemma Well, it's pretty straightforward. Money talks. While Star Trek is a cultural titan with a dedicated fan base, recent box office numbers haven't exactly been warp speed impressive. The financial haul from Star Trek Beyond, the last installment that hit the screens in 2016, didn't quite meet the astronomical expectations set by the studio. And when a movie doesn't pull in the big bucks, executives start getting twitchy. It's also no secret that movie studios are in a perpetual love-hate relationship with risk. Investing hefty sums into a blockbuster that might not pay off is enough to give any businessman the jitters. With Star Trek IV, the studio had to consider whether the return on investment would justify the expenditure, especially considering how much is spent on those cutting-edge special effects and A-list salaries. Market Comparisons Now let's shine some light on the competition. Hollywood is essentially a dog-eat-dog -dog world, where franchises battle for the top spot like gladiators in space. And boy, has Star Trek faced some stiff competition. Market Reflections by the time Star Trek Beyond was released, the film industry was witnessing a seismic shift in audience preferences. Superhero sagas like Marvel's Avengers were raking in billions and setting new standards for what constituted a successful franchise. It was no longer enough to have a dedicated fan base. A franchise needed to appeal to the widest possible audience to be financially viable. Not to mention, the Star Wars saga made a grand comeback. 
With Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm and the successful launch of the new trilogy, Star Wars was once again the darling of sci-fi cinema, making it an uphill battle for Star Trek to claim a significant slice of the box office pie. Studios have to be adaptive, and Paramount took a cold, hard look at these trends. They realized that jumping on the bandwagon with another Star Trek film without a robust strategy might be akin to navigating an asteroid field. The decision makers, therefore, opted to tweak their approach, be it pondering over tie-ins with streaming services or ensuring they have a script that's out of this world. Thus, while many fans eagerly await news of Star Trek IV, the cold reality is that business and strategy have played substantial roles in its delay. Balancing creativity with financial prudence and market trends has proven more challenging than a game of 3D chess. However, in the words of the eternally optimistic Captain Kirk, there's no such thing as the unknown, only things temporarily hidden. And for now, Star Trek IV remains one of those hidden treasures, waiting for the right time to re-enter our universe. Fan reactions and speculations. Fan engagement. Let's face it, Star Trek fans are nothing if not passionate. The ongoing delays and ever-morphing updates about Star Trek IV have sent waves across social media, fan forums, and convention floors. While some fans have adopted a wait-and-see attitude, others are charging their phasers set to rage at the sheer uncertainty of it all. Twitter threads, Reddit posts, and fan videos on YouTube have laid bare a range of emotions, from hopeful speculation to outright exasperation. No stone has been left unturned in the quest to unearth hidden truths and untangle the web of mysteries surrounding Star Trek IV. Social media buzz. It's where every whisper becomes a roar, like the time a former Trek actor hinted at a possible storyline continuation in an offhand tweet, sparking thousands of replies and theories. Hashtags like Chokchai Star Trek, Frowait Wen, and Jashach Bring Back Trek have trended sporadically, demonstrating that the conversation is very much alive. Some fans are dissecting every tidbit of news or rumor, trying to decode what's real and what's just wishful thinking. Facebook groups have erupted in debates over potential plot lines, with some members playing their own version of studio exec, proposing casting choices and script ideas. It's a fan frenzy, and yet, there's something palpably electrifying about it. Future possibilities. So what's on the horizon? Fans have no shortage of theories. Some optimistically project a surprise announcement at the next Comic Con, with fingers endlessly crossed naturally, while others hypothesize that the project may be rebranded or rebooted entirely, potentially opening up a whole new universe of storylines and characters. Even amidst the uncertainty, there's a steadfast belief that Trek will rise again, driven by the franchise's enduring legacy and the undying love from its fans. Fan theories. And oh, the theories. They range from the plausible to the deliciously outlandish. Perhaps we'll see a crossover with the new TV series, or maybe there's a secret script locked away in the Paramount vaults that promises to bridge the gap between old and new Trek. Some fans suggest leveraging the multiverse concept, which seems to be all the rage in sci-fi these days, to bring back beloved characters and introduce new ones with seamless story arcs. Whatever the case, one thing is clear. The collective imagination of the Trek fanbase is a warp drive in itself, pushing through the inertia with unrelenting enthusiasm. In essence, while the studio remains tight-lipped, the fans have taken up the mantle, speculating and dreaming up futures where Star Trek IV isn't just a rumor, but a cinematic reality. And in this swirling nebula of anticipation and theories, the spirit of Trek lives on, boldly weaving where no fan has gone before. As we've traveled through the intricate maze shrouding Star Trek IV's delay, it is evident that the path to the next installment of this beloved franchise is anything but straightforward. The tangled web of developmental challenges, fan expectations, behind-the-scenes hurdles, and overarching studio strategies has cast a long shadow over Star Trek IV's production. Despite the setbacks and uncertainties, one truth remains. The allure and appeal of Star Trek endure. For the ardent followers of the franchise, the prolonged journey to the much-anticipated release of Star Trek IV may feel like navigating through a never-ending nebula. Yet every true Trekker knows that the best voyages are those full of unexpected twists and cosmic turns. While the timeline for Star Trek IV remains cloaked in ambiguity, this isn't a signal to disengage. If anything, now is the time for fans to double down on their passion for the universe Gene Roddenberry introduced to us. Engage with the updates, relish in the speculations, and keep the conversation alive. After all, it's the fans' unwavering enthusiasm that propels these iconic narratives forward. 
So we await with bated breath and hopeful hearts, trusting that the final destination of Star Trek IV will be nothing short of spectacular. As Captain Jean-Luc Picard might say, make it so. The voyage continues, and when the odyssey to Star Trek IV reaches its zenith, rest assured, it promises to be worth every moment of this interstellar wait.